Y'all guys wanna watch a video? Shalom, welcome back everybody to Noonish Plays. My name is Rob Flavin, and today we're going to be doing some more, uh, as you can tell, we're going to be doing some more of the uh, Ether.io, which is also Would You Rather. So, um, I hope that you guys um, are liking this series. Um, I think it's pretty fun. I think it's it's easy to record, but the thing about it is it's, it's very fun to do, because I love Would You Rathers. It's uh, it's you know, this, this one thing that you really want against this one thing you really want, or it's a bad thing versus a bad thing. It's usually really hard decisions, and it usually brings up good conversation. So uh, I'm going to keep doing some of these um, until you people say, yeah, I hate it. But um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's get started right here. Would you rather have a lover who only speaks on Mondays or have a lover who only speaks in Pig Latin? Oh, man. Okay. Okay, so, uh, have a lover who only speaks on Mondays. Pros and cons? Pro? Yeah. She only speaks on Mondays. And sometimes, haha, -ha, me making a man joke over here. <laughs> you know, it could be, um, it could be fun to not argue all the time. That, besides the point, <laughs> have a lover who only speaks in Pig Latin would be horrible. Horrible. Um, I, I don't think that I could ever, uh, ever, um, just understand Pig Latin, uh, like, right off the bat, because, here's the thing, I've tried, I really have, I swear to you I have, I've tried to, like, get all the, uh, the A's and the blahs, blah, blah, whatever, <laughs> when you speak it to me real quick, it's just like another whole language, um, and it's so annoying, it's so annoying, so yeah, uh, have a lover who only speaks on Mondays is the choice that I'm going to make. So, oh my gosh, I, I literally thought I was going to, like, not get the uh, majority vote there. Wow, yeah. Well, the thing about it is Pig Latin's so, um, just so annoying after a while, and if that's the only thing that your lover speaks, you're going to fall out of love with her very quickly. Uh, so yeah, that was good, that was good, I, I like that. Alright, next one. Would you rather be famous in this lifetime or go down in the history books? Oh, man. Because the only thing is, if you're famous in this lifetime, you can actually enjoy the fame. But I feel like, I feel like being famous is something that nobody really wants right off the bat. Because, here's the thing, when you're famous, when you, when you see famous people, or something like that, you always kind of be like, oh, I wish I had their life, you know, I wish that I was able to, um, you know, do all the things that they're doing because they have so much uh, free time or whatever, they're, they're so rich and they can just make people do whatever they want. But here's the thing, I'm pretty sure that once you're famous, you hate it. You instantly hate it because you can never just walk down the street and and just not be recognized because if, if it's the level of fame of going down in the history books then um you've you've done some stuff and you may be getting recognition for it in your uh what do i say in in your lifetime by by people around you but to go down in the history books for people to actually read about what you did i feel like you would have a more uh in much more impact on uh, on people around you, people that come after you, and maybe you can influence the future. Because if you're just famous in this lifetime and you don't get written to the history books, like, Justin Bieber's not going to be in the history books because, I mean, unless he, like, you know, becomes president or saves the world or something like that. So, like, you know, granted, he's famous now, but he's not... He's not history book famous. History book famous, you know, George Washington. I mean, anybody that has influenced uh, our past to make us um, something that we are now. So, yeah, I would rather go down in the history books for sure. Um, yeah, let's do that. Oh, so split, though. So split. I, I understand why people want the fame now, because we're a now nation, we're a now, we want it, we want it now. Um, 
But the thing about it is, if, if you go down to the history books, I feel like you've influenced so many more people than you would if you were just famous right now in your lifetime because it doesn't say you go in the history books for that and you know i don't see like pop stars like you know iggy azalea getting in the history books or something like that you know like history books i'm saying they taught it they teach about you because you you did something remarkable that nobody else did so that's what i'm thinking let's go that was a good one i liked that one sorry i got a little rambly there um okay would you rather get caught cheating or catch your partner cheating Huh. Well, that's a question. Next. Would you rather <laughs> burn to death or drown? Would you rather burn to death or drown? Oh, okay. 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 Um, okay, burning. Oh, how long does that take to die by burn? To die by on fire? Ah! I'm on fire. That is insane. To die by being burned? No! drown i mean i guess you're like struggling but you could all that's a minute maybe burning how long does that ha how long does that take to die that seems like such a more violent death yeah i think i would rather drown that and plus you know fire better than water fire everywhere water everywhere but not hurting you just making you to where you can't breathe both are death so if I had to choose to die, it would be drowning for sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree. Seventy percent uh, of people agree with me as well. So, <laughs> oh man, would you rather wear high heels or wear a dress? Huh? Wear high heels or wear a dress? High heels, I break my leg or my ankle. I would break everything because I would fall everywhere. Wearing a dress might actually be. Um, not that bad. Might be like, hey, you know, got a breeze. A little bit. <laughs> God. Um, yeah, I would say, I would say wearing high heels is not something I want to personally do. No, no, I mean, not to say that wearing a dress is either. I swear. Uh, huh. anyway, I think I would rather wear a dress. What I'm trying to say is I'd rather wear a dress than wear high heels. This is up on the internet now. This is in the internet. This is on the on the tubes. Jeez, this is what I'm doing. Okay, let's do one more real quick. Um, would you rather live in ancient Greece or live in ancient Egypt? Live in ancient Greece or live in ancient Egypt? Okay, ancient Egypt. They mummified people. They had a lot of sand, and they had like pyramids and crap and like slaves and I'm sure everybody had slaves I guess probably Greece too but Greece you know when you when you picture Egypt in ancient times you picture desert and and just uh, you know at least I do I I picture desert and just being uh, miserable all the time and uh, you know walking around with like a cloth underwear and like pulling huge blocks to make the pyramids so but ancient greece i picture people laying on couches eating grapes from some lady who's fanning you as well so i mean like if if i was to uh use my small intellect to choose one of these i would definitely go with ancient greece it sounds way better than sand pushing blocks the size of cars and vans and all that so yeah ancient greece for sure yes yes what did i tell you so um let's go ahead and do one let's see one more um okay would you rather give up buttons and zippers or give up velcros and knots ah crap okay well buttons i could do without i think buttons are just whatever zippers uh, help me with my pants. Well, no. Okay, hold on. Buttons? I can also button my pants. But Velcro? I don't really care for Velcro. I'm not five. And knots. Knots? So how would I tie my shoes? Oh, I see. Pants. Buttons and zippers. Shoes. Velcro and knots. I just wear slip-on shoes. They make those. Yeah, buttons and zippers. No, not give up. I would give up Velcro and knots. I almost made a bad. I almost did a bad. Yeah, of course. Why would you give up buttons and zippers? I mean, they don't make 
Well, I guess they do make slip-on pants. They're those things that everyone wears now, called leggings. Those are a thing. Those will go down in the history books for sure. They're more than famous. They're history book famous. Anyway, I'm going to uh, end that here. Uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, Would You Rather on either.io. Um, check it out uh, for yourself. Answer some questions. And I'd like to know what you would answer to some of the questions that I answered today. Leave them down in the comments below. And uh, please give this a like and a share. Uh, and uh, just, uh, you know... Say your friend, hey man, go check out this video, it's kind of funny. Hopefully it is. If it's not funny, it's not my fault. It's the camera and the mic's fault. And the question's fault. Obviously. It's not my fault. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. I can't stop it without being on the ball! God that bless! <laughs> I think I should know your real name, Mr. Bus Travel. My name. Macklin. Bird Macklin. Bird Macklin. <laughs> Alright, don't worry, Sandra Bullock. I'm on my way.